All right, let me say before this video starts, this is going to be a long playthrough. Um, this first video is recording it. It took me over an hour. Um, I try to I try to cut it down as best as I could for you guys. In the description, I'm going to leave a timestamp if you want to skip past character creation and get straight into the gameplay. If not, enjoy the character creation, guys. It's it's a game. It's character creation was one of my favorite at the time. But let's go ahead and get on with the game. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to a playthrough of a series of games that I've wanted to do. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Forgotten Realms and the Neverwinter Nights series. I haven't played Neverwinter Nights 2 in a while, and I want to take you guys through this with me. Um, now this first episode is going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to go ahead and go through the tutorial with you guys um, all in this one episode. Uh, character creation, tutorial, everything. Now, I'm not sure where I'm going to put my uh, face cam. Uh, I'll adjust it when I get in game. Uh, and depending on how you guys feel about this, because it's a different story than the first one, uh, that's why I'm starting with this one first. Depending on how you guys like this one, I might go back and do the first one with you guys. Um, but I plan on doing this one, uh, and then Sacred and Sacred 2. Uh, I'm also a big fan of Sacred. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Begin with the new character creation. I'm going to do the official campaign. Alright, and now we're going to go ahead and start with a half elf is that right um, no we're doing that we're gonna do a, a halfling because we're gonna do a rogue style and if you guys have played D and D I mean, you can do anything with any class, uh, but the halfling starts with extra dexterity, which makes them easier for that. As you can see, dexterity will start out at 10, and that's base. That's not after we put in points or anything like that. We're going to go ahead and start as a Lightfoot. Um, it's going to allow us to have a plus two morale bonus to saving throws for fear. Um, it's going to give us a plus one to attack rolls with thrown weapons and slings. We're not going to use that much. We're going to be more of a, a dagger rogue kind of playthrough here. Um, we're going to get keen hearing, so it's going to give us extra two for listening checks. And we're going to be lucky, so we get a plus one racial bonus to all saving throws. Go ahead and well, I guess we're gonna we'll make him a little bit taller than normal. Um, let's get a zoom in here on his face so we can look through here. Um, let's go with that one. And hair, we'll turn him just. A bit to kind of look at his hair here. Looks like we might. Well, let's go with that. And uh, 
we won't worry about that. I'm not gonna do any changes with the hand, with the colors or anything. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna be a rogue. Um, and as we level up, we'll get access to more classes and stuff, like um, multi-classing, prestige classes, stuff like that. And we'll worry about that when we get to it. I kind of have an idea where I want to go right now. Um, but we'll, we'll worry about that when we get there. Um, so proficient with all simple weapons, plus rapier, short bow, and short sword. Uh, we'll be using light armor. Uh, we'll get sneak attack, which we'll, we will be using some sneaking. Uh, we'll be having trap finding. Uh, we'll be able to sense traps. General, general rogue stack guys here, guys. Um, now, I don't want to be lawful good, and I don't want to be lawful. I don't want to be lawful or chaotic good. Or lawful or chaotic evil, uh, mostly because those change a lot of things. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stay neutral. Um, that way we can have a little bit of fun with our choices. Okay, so we're going to choose a deity here. There we go, perfect right there. Brando Barris, alias is Master of Stealth, the Irrepressible Scamp. Alignment's neutral, portfolio stealth, thievery, adventuring, halfling rogues, and the favorite weapon is a dagger. And that's what we're going to be using here, mostly so. Um, so now here with here with our stats, we can have a little pl bit a little bit of play with it. Um, the main thing that I normally try to do is I try to get that zero. And that way, that way we have a good base. We have twenty points to spend now. All our stats are based at ten. Um, so we're going to need some decks. So we'll go 15 on that. Constitution, that will allow us to be able to take a little bit more hits. So we'll go 14 there. Now, with me doing it this way, this can make the game harder. Um, there is a recommended button here. I know it's covered up by my face right now. Um, but there is a recommended button. I could click that. It would automatically place my stats. Preset. That way I don't have to do any choosing on that. But I want to do it this way so that way if I mess up with this, it can change the whole gameplay. Um, so strength, uh, we'll go ahead. Let's put that uh, 14 as well. Uh, that will allow us to be able to carry a little bit more. Do just a little bit more damage. Um, Go ahead and go to 12 on intelligence. And we'll go ahead and just put 13 on wisdom. Just kind of go with that. It gives us a little bit more um, saving throws. Okay, so now for this one, this is our background. Uh, it gives us different stats. Uh, some of them have prerequisites, like the bully has to have 10 strength or higher. Uh, but you get one to intimidate, one to fortitude save throws. Uh, but you lose one bluff, one bluff, and two to diplomacy. So they have their pros and cons. Um, what I'm going to go with here is I'm going to go with the wild child. That gives us one to survival, one to tumble, which is a dodge save throw, one to hide. One to move silently, but we lose two lore and two appraise. Not too worried about that. And here is these are 
preset packages within the game. And what they do is they pretty much set your um, set your feats and everything for you. So you can be preset to become that. But what I want to do is I want to customize it here. Now here's where here's where our choices come into play here. Um, so as a rogue, we're going to need hide. That's a given. Um, and the higher the hide is, the higher the enemy check roll has to roll to see us. Um, but right now we're just going to kind of just get base one point in what we have to have, and then we'll split it out from there. Um, so we're going to need move silently, everyone be a rogue. Uh, definitely need open locks. Parrying, parrying would be good because that will allow us to avoid some hits. Um, let's see. Tumble, that's another one I said is a uh, uh, dodge roll uh, check, so we need that one. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get heal, so that way we can have a little bit of healing. Uh, whenever we use healing kits, or minor cure wounds, or anything like that to heal us, that's going to allow us to heal more, so we don't have to pump out several of them. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get Disable Device, that's going to allow us to um, disable traps and stuff. We're going to get Diplomacy. Uh, definitely going to get Listen, so that way we can hear the enemies if they're nearby. Uh, we need search so that way we can detect the trap we'll go ahead and get sleight of hand because honestly we're probably going to do a little bit of stealing uh, we'll get set trap well no we won't get set trap because that was not going to be that required here we'll get spot in case uh, anything is near us that's stealthed, uh, we'll be able to see him. We'll get use magic device. Okay, so once you get Once you get your, well, we'll get craft trap and craft weapon, so we can at least do that. Um, once you get your base, uh, feats what you're gonna get, then you can start kind of putting some more points into that. So we're gonna put a couple points into hide, uh, a couple into move silently. We're gonna go ahead and put three into open lock. Uh, we'll put a couple into parry. Do one into search, two into slight hand. I'm gonna do three into tumble, because that's like I said, that's gonna allow us to avoid some damage. We'll put a couple into spot, so that way we can't be snuck up on as easily. Um, we'll put one more in disable device, and then we'll put a couple more in diplomacy. And that's how we're going to start this with our feats, guys. That's what we're going to be rolling with. Uh, so we got one in Craft Trap, one Craft Weapon, three Diplomacy, two Disabled Device, one Heal, three Hide, one to Listen, three Move Silently, four Open Lock, three Parry, two Search, three Slide of Hand, four Tumble, and one Use Magic Device. Okay, so here, 
are some class specific stuff uh, or character specific so we get one point uh, here on the right side is what we automatically get and here on the left is what we can choose from now this is when things get tricky because we only have one point so we can only get one of them so that point that's when you want to kind of go through here look what look what you want to get Now, I'm already going to go ahead and get this dodge. Um, just, again, for more avoiding damage. Because we're not going to have a lot of hit points. We're not going to be able to take a lot of hits. So the more we can avoid, the better. Alright, guys. We're going to go ahead and name our character here. We're just going to be general here. We're going to go with Shadow. And then... There and then here you get a uh, various different um, voice styles. Here I'll go ahead and play this first one for you guys. Get on them! Attack! I say. And they're all they're all kind of like stuff like that. What I'm gonna go ahead with here is I'm gonna go with a stealth specialist just because I like that one. Here I'll go ahead and play it for you guys here. Now, strike swiftly. See, I like that one, and because we're being a stealthy Rick rogue. It fits. Normally, that's what I try to go with. Uh, that's character creation, guys. Let's go ahead and get this tutorial done. I'm not going to try to spend a lot of time on it because I'm already up to 16 and a half minutes. Um, so, like I said, I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but here we go. So many years ago today. Ah. Uh. My foster son is up and dressed, I see. Today is the High Harvest Fair, and the West Harbor Village Council requires me to man the archery competition. The human need to celebrate Remembrance Days baffles me, but at least something productive may come of it. The merchant Galen is here. He'll want my furs as he usually does. Coins can be useful in getting by. This past season has been a hard one for both tilled fields and wildlands. While I attend to the archery contest, I will need you to deal with the merchant. Fetch my furs from the chest, over by the painting. Okay, so here on the right side um, is where we're gonna have basically our tutorial. Um, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna read that to you guys, it's just, what it's going to do is going to tell us how to move the camera, how to switch uh, camera styles, because there's three different camera modes. There's uh, character mode, which is up close, follows you when you move. Strategy mode, which allows you to move the camera freely while characters stay in place. And then exploration mode, which camera follows you, but it's this top-down view like it is right now. That's probably what I'm going to be keeping it as, just because normal Neverwinter Night style, that's what it was. Um, so real quick, let me go ahead and get my face cam situated here. I'm going to go ahead and move it for you guys. Oh, wrong one. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it right there. Um, that way, if you guys, as you guys can see, it's in between my second action bar and this mode section where I can choose tracking or stealth or parry mode. And that's, that's good, because I want to have it right there in the middle. Um, so we'll go ahead and continue here. Uh, just saying you can skip it at any time. Uh, and then it gives you how to move. Uh, there's two different ways to move here. There's click. And then there's the... If you guys played any sort of MMOs or anything like that, your WASD keys, um, those can be moved as well. Um, so, and then this, uh, open things with left clicking on it. And then, so we got inventory. Uh, 
one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so we got we got our inventory here. Not much to look at right now, uh, but then again, we're only in the tutorial. There's not going to be much. And then you got your journal and your character sheet, which right now we're neutral 50-50. That's probably going to change, honestly. Um, we might end up going down uh, an evil path, or we might end up staying neutral. Who knows? It all depends on how things kind of work out in this Good. game. I see you have the furs. Galen has probably set up his tent on the village green. He'll be enjoying the fair with the rest of the townsfolk. Last season, I asked him to bring a duskwood bow to trade. Sell him the furs and use the coins it gives you to purchase the bow. Your friends await you at the bridge. I suppose you're anxious to see the fair. But don't forget to trade with Galen. Okay. So, now that's pretty much all that there is in here. There's really nothing else that we can click on here. Um, up here in the top right, that's our character portrait. I've got it showing our health so that you guys, that way you guys can kind of keep an eye on that there. Now in this one, the camera with exploration mode, the camera stays. The camera doesn't move. You have to move the camera. Now that's an easy, easy thing to do. Um, all that is is you just click the middle mouse button and you can just move the camera freely. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these other modes here while I'm outside. You guys can see a little bit more. Like I said you got strategy mode which allows the camera stays still but your character moves. And then you got character mode which for more of the MMO players you might like that one a little bit better. But that one's a little bit weirder because your D button and the A button move your character to the side and you have to use the Q and E button to turn. So I don't I don't like that. So I just stick with that so that way I can kind of do that. As you guys can see, here's the Q button, here's the E button when in exploration mode, and then A and D turns. So that's how I'm gonna keep it. There you are. Come on, the fair's already started. It's the biggest fair in years. There's folk in from all the outlying farms, and even a few from outside the mare. That means a big audience. A big audience, all cheering for us. This year's our last chance to compete for the Harvest Cup. Our last chance to win. The Mossfelds won both their matches in the Harvest Brawl. They'll be tough to beat. But Amy's bound to win the tourney of talent for us. I convinced Tarmus to teach me a few new spells. And I dug up a couple more from his spell books when he wasn't looking. Anyway, I heard Will Mossfeld is doing the same act this year, so that should help my chances. Oh, gods. Not the pixie impressions again. Okay, so, like I said, guys, I don't want to make this episode last too long, so I'm going to kind of... Um, skip a lot of the, the general uh, conversation here. If I choose the first option, uh, they pretty much get upset because basically I'm putting the blame on them and the fact that I didn't win. Uh, the second option, they tell you that you're free to start anywhere, um, but first we need to talk to uh, Galen, which is who our, our father told us to talk to, um, to buy the bow. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the third option here. No sense standing about, then where do we start? That way we can go ahead and we get going. We sign up with Georg in the village square. Come on! Okay. So, now we have our party here. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I played this one. When I do Neverwinter Nights, I usually play solo, which makes it a little bit more challenging, which I like. Um, uh, so, I might... I might end up doing that here. Um, and there's the blight. Georg. You're sure it's spreading, Orlin? It's no blight, Georg. It's something else. There's no mold, no rot. It's like the crops don't want to grow. It's like they're having the guts to up and face the sun. What do the druids say? Well, it's just a rub, Georg. There's no druids to be found. Not head nor heel. 
It used to be they warned me of troubles long before I noticed the signs myself. But this time, we're out in silence. You think we ought to say something? Everyone's gathered for the fair, even from the outlying farms. No. They ought to be free from cares, at least for a day. We'll go round tomorrow. Talk to the households one by one. Right you are, Georg. Tomorrow, then. And we are really small, aren't we? Aha! You're here after all! I wasn't sure you'd show. Thought you might be out wandering the mare again and miss the fair altogether. Wouldn't be the first time, if I recall. It's your last year to compete, isn't that right? Okay, so if we choose the first option here, it says, uh, that's right, what's, what are the rules this year? Um, he just says in the dueling, it's a two versus two duel, and the archery is a one person, you have to shoot as many of the um, bottles as you can. In the school of magic one, uh, you have to use whatever magics you have. No cheesing it or anything. Uh, if she's only for Bevel and me, that Bevel is the the guy, I believe. Um, and that, again, just drags the conversation on. I'm going to try not to do that here, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose number three again. Just tell me the rules, will you? Rules are the same as ever. Win three of the four events, and you win the Harvest Cup. Win all four, and the Village Council grants you a special prize. <laughs> And nobody's done that since old Cormac. Okay, so we got four events. Um, I don't remember what the fourth one is, but there's archery, the magic, the dueling, and then there's one more again. Um, and then Cormac, I remember him vaguely. Three, that's enough for me. We'll figure out the rest of the room. That's what we're going to go with right there. If you have any troubles, you know where to find me. <laughs> oh, and good luck in the brawl. Okay. Um, so we got the Knaves Challenge, the Tourney of Talent, the Archery Competition, and the Harvest Brawl. Uh, so, we're going to start with... I didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay. Guys, I might end up changing to character mode. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, this is the brawl here. Um, I'm just gonna choose. Practice a bit first. There are practice dummies just for there. Once you finish off the dummy, I'll send you another ring. Okay. Uh, you'll need to arm your sheriff with the train club. I've left several clubs in the barrel here next to me. Okay, so now we're just gonna need to get us a. We'll loot all there. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about hurting that. It's just telling us to equip it here. Uh, so. Equip, done, we're rogue, so we need, well, I guess we can't, okay, um, so we need yes, to switch, so. let's see, we need to put in inventory, okay, that's what we need to do. I need to give it to him, so we can equip. Okay, and back to him. Let's move the camera around here. Here's your little training dummy. We got a fight here. Okay, so now we can talk to Merrick here. And uh, no arrows of magic. Uh, fight barehanded or with a training club. And let's go ahead and get this one going, guys. Okay, so like I say, here we got our hit points. Well, let's go ahead and equip her with one as well. That way all of us can have a little bit of damage here. So let's go ahead and give this a shot, guys. Alright. We won our first, first battle, guys. 
Alright, so that's one out of the... One out of the two teams, so let's go ahead and take out the other team. Talk to Will that you... Tell Will that you are ready and I'll begin the final fight. Sorry about that, guys. I'll try to cut that there so you don't have to go through all that. Oh, I got knocked out. Come on, Bevel. Alright. Alright, so let's talk to this guy and get our money. Alright. Alright, we got our money, guys. Okay, so let's go on to the next one here. Uh, well, first, let's go ahead and rest. Like I said, I'll, I'll cut that so you guys don't have to go through me doing all that conversation and stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to Reddit here and do our magic part. Referring, waiting for me. Of course, juggling and puppetry are well and good, but the children wants to see magic, and so do it. Pixies in my stomach say no, but just kids watching, right. We gotta keep her energized there. All right. The tourney of talent is about to begin. Here you'll learn the basics of spellcasting. I'm going to set your primary character for this tourney. Press the F key to display the quick cast bar, which is that thing right there. Look the class window shows icons all of your memorized spells. Find summon creature one. So that's going to be this one here. And then you got to uh, left click on the ground wherever you'd like the summon creature to appear. So let's go ahead and put him right here. And then next you will cast a large person spell on Bevel. This type of spell targets a friendly creature. It can be cast on yourself or an ally, but never on an enemy. Uh, this time you're going to find the enlarged person under spell level 1, which is right here again. And you got enlarged person. And we're going to cast that on Bevel. Okay. And now target the old barrel with any of enemy's offensive spells, Ray of Frost or Acid Splash. So, we're going to use the quick bar, we're going to do Ray of Frost, the old barrel. Okay, now you've tried the basic spell guys, and you can explore your spell book, use the player menu, or press B, which is this here guys. Okay, your memorized spells here, and your known spells right here. Memorized are different than known. Just because you know it doesn't mean you can cast it all the time. So you can click and drag spells from the known into your memorized slots and when you next rest those spells will be ready to cast. And that's what I was saying guys. So like these burning hands here, we can't cast those because they're not in the memorized. Even though we know it, we have to bring it over here to cast it. Never seen such a display of magic since, well, mother, you all right? It's been a long time. Never mind all that. You three are most certainly the winners of the contest. That was quite a thrill for all of us. Oh, and I never forgot. Thomas gave me these scrolls, so I should give them to his apprentice and her friends if they want a talent show. Say, that was quite a show. You're good with that magic, young Amy. More than passing skillful, if you ask me, though I know you don't, didn't. I uh, wonder if you might have a look at a pig. Uh, we've got better things to do. I know, and I'm sorry to pester you, I truly am, but I got to judge these pigs today, and I think one of them's a trick. A cheat. The beast is huge. It's a great hulking brute, that pig. I've never seen it before, and I have an eye for pigs, as folks will tell you. Louis says he's been keeping it hid, but where? The hog's too big to be missed in a small town. I say he's been magic. I say he's been magicked. It's resettled, but I can't prove it myself. We'll do it if Amy's is wanting. Give my magical opinion, of course. I mean, it probably some sort of transmutation. I'd love to see how they did it. Much appreciate that. 
He's the big one down on the end. If you find any magic on him, come back and tell me straight away. Okay, so... Oh, um, so that just gave us, uh, this gives us here, um, we leveled up. So we're going to open our character sheet. Ready to level up. Click level up here. I'm going to do rogue again. Like, you can choose different classes every time you level. Let's do next on that, and we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a... So we got nine skills here, nine skill points. So let's see what we didn't give ourselves very much of. Give ourselves some more search. Um, here's the recommended button I was telling you guys about. It's right here. Like I said, I can click that. Automatically places them. And just like that. But like I said, I don't want to do that. I want this to be a custom, custom play. And so we get eight points. We gain the evasion feat, which is nice. Um, I don't remember. Uh, can I don't know if switching control the companion repeatedly by process. Whatever. Okay. So for leveling up a companion, you got to do the same thing. Switch to them. Level up. Now these recommended. 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 I, I don't worry about leveling up my allies personally because I don't I don't play with them a lot. So recommended, recommended, and then recommended. Um, it's just it's it's my play style. I don't mess with them a lot. So so let's go ahead and have a look at this pig. Here's the one you guys see him right there. So let's. Well, Orland's right. This pig's been enchanted. It's a faint aura, so it could have been a simple enlargement spell, or maybe a potion. Well, Retta did give us a scroll of Lesser Dispel. All I'd have to do is read the words. Wait a minute. Uh, shouldn't we say something to Louis? He's a foul old wretch. But we ought to give him a chance to withdraw his pig from the contest before he's shamed in front of everyone. Okay, so this is one of those things, guys. We get an option here. Um... We can either choose to talk to Louie and give him the option to take his pig out of the contest because we know, or we can just dispel it. I'm going to choose just to dispel it because, like I said, I've kind of got to set how I want to do this. So, you'll need to use your scroll of lesser dispel. Scrolls are single use spells, sort of in written form. Scrolls of arcane, so we need to go to our inventory. Um. Lesser Dispel, we need to give that to her. And then now, Lesser Dispel on the Hawk. Perhaps so. Okay, so let's go ahead and look here. Uh, man and his Hog. Uh, have you this hog competition? Can I be fairly judged? Return to Orlin for your reward. So now we just got in there. He is. We'll go ahead and talk to Orlin here. Did you see the expression on that hog's face? Haha. <laughs> Had a few glorious hours of being a big porker lord in it over his seniors, but now he's back to his poor little self. Alright, let me go ahead and move this camera. I don't want you guys to have to worry about that tree right there. Uh, I bet there there will be some uncomfortable moments in the pig's sty tonight. And I'd say that's the last time anybody tries to magic a hog in the contest. Hate to see old Louis shamed, but he brought it on himself. Um, so how about something for our trouble then? Have some of this. It's pork jerky. Tough dry meat, but it tastes better than heavens. Uh, great, thanks. Alright, so now let's go ahead and continue on here with our quest here, so we gotta talk to Galen. It did in fact. Oh, good. Dagon's a reliable sort. Always has the highest quality furs. You can't imagine the demand of Neverwinter. Eh, relatively speaking. I haven't forgotten his Duskwood bow either. I always came through. You tell Dagon that. Alright, so we'll go ahead and trade here. 
So we got the pork jerky. Dagon's furs. Oh, I don't want to do that actually. Okay, yeah, I did actually. Okay, so sell, sell. Okay. And we talk to him again. Finish your business, take an inspection of the desk below, but I'll need some gold for it. Yeah, let's trade. Okay, so weapon. Buy. Okay. Alright. And the folks in Embers didn't know what good craftsmanship for us. So that's another way to move the camera, guys. You can kind of move your mouse to the side here. Let's go ahead and talk to Dagon here. So, you've decided to compete for the cup, I see. I know this is your last year, but the rules apply to all. Even foster sons. A fine bow. A fine one. Made by one who loves his craft. You may keep the rest of the gold as your allowance for the season, but you came for the archery competition as well, did you not? Fetch a crossbow from the barrel and take a few shots at the practice target. You must hit the target once before you can compete. Okay, so we'll go here to equip and you have to equip an ammunition for a bow crossbow crossbow anything like that maybe quit for range weapon move your mouse cursor over the target Are you ready to compete then? The rules are the same as last year. Ten shots and ten targets. Your targets will be old bottles set atop the crates yonder. Five is the best score so far. If you remember the lessons that have been taught to you, you should be able to best that. Okay, so let's move the camera here. Go ahead and get rid of that. There's two. You will regret that. Three. Won't walk away. Four. You will regret that. Five. Guys, we might actually manage to get all of them. actually got all of them guys well done a perfect score wins the competition outright I've rarely seen such a fine performance so early in the day you have a marksman's instinct that much is plain go on now there's still more of the fair to see okay let's check our journal and see what we have left your team has won three events but before you can claim the harvest cove you must complete in all four to be the knaves challenge and speak to Tarmus the wizard so that's going to be this guy right here. Enjoying the fair. Packs of feral children set loose to find trinkets. Grown men braining one another with clubs. Do you know they're actually granting prizes for the fattest pig? As if the creatures needed encouragement. Splendid idea, the knaves challenge. I always tell them we ought to encourage thievery in our children. We live in a swamp, after all. What else is there to do? I suppose you'll want to hear the rhyme. You hadn't heard? Better for me if I'd kept my peace. Georg asked for a rhyme this year. That's what wizards do. We compose rhymes. Here, I'll demonstrate. 
I've hidden three feathers, scattered them wide, placed white in a box, and locked it inside. Blue followed termite tracks down where they ran, green in the pocket of same colored man. Yes, you and half the waifs in West Harbor. I adore children, did you know that? Swamp children, particularly. Okay. So now we gotta find three different feathers. I think this part is different uh, depending on what class you choose. Um, so we got, I've hidden three feathers, scattered them wide, placed white in a box, and locked it inside. Blue followed termite tracks down where they ran. Green in the pocket of the same colored man. Okay. So normally you would have to talk to someone who can do the, this stuff. The good news is, I can. So let's, this is our map here guys. So let's see, we need green in the pocket of the same colored man. Pile logs is glowing red. The trap is detected and can be disarmed. If not, toggle detect mode. We click on the magnifying glass icon in the bottom right area of the screen. That's this thing right here. And detect mode, your party moves at half speed, but will actively check for traps and hidden creatures. Elves are always in detect mode, but do not suffer the speed penalty. Once the trap is detected, we can be disarmed by a character with a disabled device skill, which we have. Make sure your rogue is active. And let's click on the wood pile. A progress bar will appear. When it completes, the character skill is checked, and if successful, the trap is disarmed. It's great. Anyway, it didn't actually hurt us. Probably part of the Nave Challenge. Tarmus said he left a few surprises around the village. Tarmus, I figure. He must have hidden something under the logs, but we can't get it unless we just the trap. Well, I... Okay. Let's try again. There we go. The blue feather. Okay. Let's widen a box and locked it inside. Blue followed termite tracks down where they ran. That's why it was in the wood pile. So placed white in a box and locked it inside. Th green in the color of the same colored man. So that's going to be someone wearing green. Well, here's a locked chest. Uh, this is just saying just what we had said here about the locks. Make sure you had your rogue and everything. Let's get our feather there. Green in the pocket of the same colored man. You'll need to use a slight hand of skill. Obtain the green feather to use this skill. Left click slide a hand icon. Your action bar. That's that right there. And then click the person you want to pickpocket. If slide a hand does not appear on your quick bar, drag to slide a hand icon. And there's a man in green. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and activate stealth mode. It will make us move just a little bit fat and slower. Slide a hand. The green man in, green. in the pocket of same colored man. I'll bet that's him over by the house. The feathers in his pocket. It's got to be. Alright. So Don is just stating the same thing, guys. Okay. So we can go ahead and turn that off now. Let's go ahead and move our camera here. And head on back to Thomas. It really is a dreadful day for a fair. Not even the tents are managing to look cheerful. Thank the gods. The knave's challenge is won, and I can go someplace dry. I believe that means you won the cup as well. Probably best to tell Georg. 
You know the fellow. Large, cheery, talks a bit. Okay, so now we just gotta go back to Georg. That's the guy that we talked to at the first. Well played. Well played. You've won the cup. And all four events. Nobody's done that since Cormac. That warrants a special reward, of course. I have a harvest cloak for you, courtesy of the village council. It'll be yours at the end of the day. If there's anything you wanted to do before the award ceremony, now's the time. Maybe a mug of harvest mead to celebrate, eh? I'll meet you at the stage when you're ready for the victory speech. Now, I'm off. Uh, one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so now we leveled up again, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and go as a rogue again. And we're going to get... Let's get another point, a couple, three points to disable the device. Put two there. And we'll put, okay, go over six. Let's go ahead and put one more in sleight of hand then. And we'll put one more there. All right, so now we get Another feat. Um, let's go with two weapon fighting because we're going to need that. Okay. So let's go ahead and level these two up. Like I said, just going to do recommended. Just to get that done here. Okay. Now we gotta find find where Georg went. Stage at the western end and speak to Georg. Okay, so it's the western end, so this is gonna be this part right here, it looks like. Gather round, mates! Gather round! This harvest fair is a celebration, but it's also a dark anniversary. We all know what else happened on this day. Not so long ago, we nearly lost this village. Almost lost our lives. Almost lost it all. But we came back. Cleared burnt farms. Buried our dead. And put our ashes behind us. And we rebuilt. Tougher and stronger than ever. Long as there's a harvest what is fair, Amy doing? we won't forget that day. And our young folks, they'll stay tough. Long as they compete for the Harvest Cup. So let's hear it for this year's winners. Three cheers for the Harvest Champions. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Village is under attack! West Harbor is under attack! You're safe! Grab a weapon. We need to help defend the village. Alright, let's go. 
Okay, guys. That is going to be all the time for I have in this episode. Like I said, this first one's going to be a little bit longer than the rest. I just wanted to get you guys through this tutorial and through the opening so that way we can actually start. Um, I'm going to try to keep it under 20 minutes each episode. I'm going to cut this one a little bit, try to speed it up, shorten it down a little bit because I'm it's almost an hour, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave a link in the description to my Twitter account and to my Patreon. Um, and I'm not sure... I'll probably put it here. Over here somewhere. A link to another game that I'm going through. It's... Uh, I'm going through Prey right now as well. Um, but I'm going to leave a link over there to the first episode in that playlist. But until then, guys, stay frosty.